Hey everyone, today we're going to go over the classic country gospel style song called Dust on the Bible. You can find the chord sheet with the lyrics on page 6 of book number 3. The song was written by the Bales brother, Johnny and Walter Bales. And it was first recorded by them in 1946 and it's been performed by many artists like Kitty Wells and Hank Williams and the Stanley Brothers, just to name a few. So let's get started. See some friends of mine Of all the books and magazines Not a Bible could I find I asked them for the Bible When they brought in what a shame For the dust was covered over it Not a fingerprint was plain Dust on the Bible Dust on the whole new world the Words of all the prophets and the saints She did. Okay, I play this in the key of E for my voice, which is also the key Hank Williams plays it in. However, you can use a capo and experiment to find a key that allows you to sing it how your vocal range allows it. Always remember that. As for the tempo, Kitty Wells did a slower ballad feel, around 70 beats per minute, while Hank played it a bit quicker at 87 beats per minute. I do the faster version and strum it with the bass notes, leading a down, down, up, down, up, and varying it a little bit as I'm going through. So uh, it's a cowboy style strumming and it fills up the space and supports the vocal energy, like this. <laughs> You got the bases leading. Okay, when learning this, remember there are patterns that make this simple song stand out, like the holding of the B7 on the second line of the chorus. The stone, the fire. And another thing that uh, makes it stand out from other songs is the um, the melody line on the verses and the first line of every every line really uh, starts in the starts on the third of the E scale and then it goes to the sixth and the fifth twice. So like. Ha, na, na. one 
So simple. But just remember that little uh, sixth and fifth up there at the top in the melody line, and you'll be great. Okay, let's talk about the intro. Real simple intro. We'll just take the last line of the verse, of the chorus, the B, the E, the B7, and the E. And it's just. And I just go with a pinky on the second string, second fret. That kind of thing. To the B. with it how you want them. And for the strumming part, you can do the E kind of, which is an A, and you can, and the more you do that, the bluesier it gets, so be careful. They do that between uh, the, every chorus and verse, so just remember, and it's a little part for you to put a little picking in if you want. Play whatever feel you feel like it feels to be playing. If you want to go slow, then do slow. If you want to go fast and funky, do fast and funky. But whatever you can do to get the spirit moving and have the song feel great and, and just get the message across, that's great. So feel free to add your own rhythm and, and bring your own life to it. And uh, I thank you for watching and hopefully subscribing if this is helpful to you. Now go enjoy Dust on the Bible, and don't forget to get book number three with the chords and lyrics for your iPad or your phone, and we're printing it out, and we'll see you next Sunday. Get the dust off the Bible.